Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter seven, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Now, we, for our purposes, are not gonna use this grid. We're just gonna do the math and show you how, okay? So first, we're gonna dead man. I call it dead man because when we do this, it looks a little bit like a dead man on its head, okay? So when I say dead man, that's what I mean. It means we're gonna turn a mixed number into an improper fraction, okay? So in order to do that, we do three times one is three, plus two more is five, and we keep the denominator, okay? Again, three times two is six, plus one is seven, and we keep the denominator, okay? So now, we just multiply straight across. Five times seven, 35, three times three, is nine. Okay, so now we need to turn it back into a mixed number. So nine would go into 35, what, three times, which would be 27. Okay, let me do kind of a trickier number. So let me do this, okay? So it would go in three times, which is where I got that number. Three times nine is 27. Subtract. 15 minus seven is eight. So then my numerator would be eight and I keep my denominator. So three and eight ninths, okay? Okay? Okay. So let's go ahead and do that for these guys, okay? So we're gonna go one, and one eighth times two and one half, okay? All right, so we're gonna do dead man. Okay, eight times one is eight, plus one more is nine, so nine over eight times two times two is four, plus one is five, and I'm gonna keep that over two, okay? So now when we multiply straight across, we would get 45 over 16, okay? Now again, kind of a bigger number, so we're gonna go ahead and do the division where you guys can see it instead of mentally, okay? So multiples of 16 are gonna go 16, 32, 48. Well, 48 is too big, so it's gonna be two times. So you get 32, subtract. Okay, so our big number is going to be two. That's our whole number. Okay, when we subtract, we get three and one, and then 13 over 16. Okay, so two and 13 over 16. Okay, all right, let's do another one. Okay. Two and two thirds times one and one third. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and dead man. I'm going to go three times two is six, plus two more is eight. And I'm going to keep my denominator. Three times one is three, plus one more is four. And I keep my denominator. Okay, and I know they're trying to trick you because you're going, well, four goes into eight or three and three are the same, but they're, you need a top and you need a bottom. So we can't reduce anything, okay? So now when I multiply straight across, eight times four is 32 and three times three is nine, okay? Well, nine is gonna go into 32. If we do the division, nine would go in three times, that's 27 and 32 minus 27 is five and I would keep my denominator, okay? If you need to do the division like this, you go right ahead, okay? There is nothing wrong with that, okay? I'm gonna show you where I got my numbers. This is my whole number, okay? This is my numerator. And this is always my denominator. It's going to stay the same from here, okay? All right. So 
for now, you have three and five ninths. Okay? All right. Do another one, guys. Okay? Actually, no, I'm going to leave that one for you guys to do number five, and we're going to go down and do number six. Okay? Ava's bedroom rug is two and three quarters feet long and two and a half feet wide. What is the area of the rug? So, two and three quarters by two and a half. Okay? So now, dead man, four times two is eight plus three is 11. And I'm going to keep my denominator. Okay? By two times two is four plus one is five. And I'm going to keep my denominator. Again, I need a top and a bottom to be able to reduce. And 5 and 11 are both prime, so I can't do anything about that. Okay? So, when I multiply straight across, I get 55 over 8. Okay? Now, the closest we're going to be able to get in this is going to be 8 goes into 55 6 times, which is 48. Okay? 55 minus 48 is going to be 7. And my denominator stays the same. So, Six and seven eighths feet. Okay, feet squared. Sorry, we're multiplying feet by feet, so it's going to be feet squared. Okay. Okay. Make sure you're writing down your work, guys. Okay. All right. Some scrap paper. And a painting is two and two thirds foot long and one and a half foot wide. What's the area of the painting? So two and two thirds. And one and a half. Okay, so two times three times two is six plus two more is eight. I might keep my denominator. Two times one is two plus one is three, and I keep my denominator. Now, if you will look, it can reduce. I can also do two goes into two ones and two goes into eight four times. So now I would have four over one, which is the same as four, or b squared. We're multiplying feet by feet, so it's feet squared. Okay. Not bad, guys. Okay. Let's go on over to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay, we're going to go ahead and down and do our review. So Lucy earned $18 babysitting on Friday and $20 babysitting on Saturday. On Sunday, she spent half the money. Write an expression to match the words. Okay, well, she got $18 and she got $20, right? Then she spent half. Boom, done. Okay, all right. A grocery store clerk is putting cans of soup on the shelf. She has 12 boxes. Each box contains 24 cans of soup. Altogether, how many cans of soup did the clerk put on the shelves? Well, 24 times 12, okay? And two times four is eight. Sorry, guys. There we go. Uh, okay, so two times four is eight. Two times two is four. Okay, so tick, which I don't have anything to tick. That's fine. Tack, toe. Okay, and then one times 24 is going to be 24. I'm going to add those up. Eight, eight, two cans. Done. Okay, all right. What is the best estimate for the quotient of 5,397 divided by 62? Um, I would say let's round this to 60. And let's round that, gosh, a compatible number. Let's round it to mm, Let's round it to 6,000. Divided by 60, well, that would be 
60 is going to go into 60 one time, and then we still have two zeros. So 100, okay? Or you could do, I'm going to do multiples of 60 and see what I can get that's pretty close to so 60, 120, 180. Let's do. Let me use my calculator and we're just going to do our multiples of 60, okay? Okay, so all I did was go 60 plus 60 and I'm going to hit equal. So I get 120, then 180, then 240. 300. I want to try and get about as close to 539 as I can. So 360. 420, which means 480 would be next. And 540. Well, 540 is pretty close to 539. So I would actually, sorry guys, I would actually run that. Um, I would say that would be, so that would go into, that would be our 540, and then we would still have one left over, okay? So it would wind up being 5400, okay? Let me, let me do that right here for you guys, okay? Let me show you guys, okay? So what I did is I got as close to 540 as I could because that's 539. So what I did is I rounded it to 5,400, okay? Because those would be the 540 and there would be that extra zero right there. And then we would divide that by 50, okay? Well, six goes into 54, nine times, okay? Then I would cross off that and we still have a zero, okay? So then your best estimate would be 90, okay? Sorry about that, guys. Okay, there are 45 vehicles in a parking lot. Three fifths of the vehicles are minivans. How many vehicles in a parking lot are minivans? So, three fifths of 45. I'm going to put that 45 over a one so that we have a fraction. Okay, and five goes into five once, five goes into 45 nine times. So now, when I multiply through the cross, I get 3 times 9 is 27, and then I would have it over 1, so it would be 27 minivans, or 27 vehicles. Okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 7.7. .7. Come on back for 7.8. See you soon.